Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's episode of ONW Now. I'm Nina Rice alongside Brian Gonzaga. This week we take a look back at Trunk or Treat and find out why being kind at of ONW is very important. And we even have a spooky edition of We're From the Halls just for you guys. Let's get it started. On Sunday, our future teachers organization hosted their annual Trunk or Treat. Let's take it to Rosie Boswell and Rachel Hyde for the story. It's Rosie Boswell here at Olathe Northwest for our annual Trunk or Treat. Let's see what's going on. This is Trunk or Treat. It is basically when kids um, come to O&W and all the clubs have cars and they decorate them and they go basically go around and they trick or treat. All the little children like smiling and getting all their candy and like just really like seeing all their really cool and creative costumes. There are various reasons that students love to participate in this event. It seems like a really fun way to connect with the community and just get involved. I like being a part like where you just make kids happy. Many clubs put a lot of effort into this event through providing alternatives to candy, having games, and even making their own interactive pieces. Since our entire like cars are decorated like in galaxy and space, and so um, I wanted to make the rocket ship because then like the kids like really like gravitate towards like rockets, I guess. Overall, Trunk or Tree is a great experience for kids and high school students. For O and W Now, this has been Rosie Boswell alongside Rachel Hyde. It's Kindness Week, Ravens. Let's take a look at a group of students and what they're doing to spread positivity here at O&W. This week at O&W, our Kindness Club put together a few things to encourage kindness around our school and try to make someone's day a little bit better. It originally started with uh, Riley Kramer and I. We went through a kind of trial run last year and Riley kind of wanted that thing to continue on, so we had uh, we got a group together and just kind of kept the tradition going on. No matter how big or small the projects are, Kindness Club hopes to impact our students in a positive way. Kindness means that you just try your best to be polite to everybody and you try to take in account, take in account what people's needs are and do your best to just help them. To me, the projects that Kindness Clubs does, um, I feel like they're really helpful, even if it's just sticky notes on a mirror. You look at them and it just helps you focus on the good stuff about you. If you would like to get involved with upcoming projects, follow at ONW Kindness on Twitter for updates. For ONW Now, this has been Savannah Caps and Anna Marie Struck. Now, back to the desk. Ravens, make sure to challenge yourself to be kind to one another, not just this week, but every day. This past week, a group of foreign exchange students have been visiting from Penford, Germany to visit Washington, D.C., Olathe Northwest, and the Kansas City area. Oh, my favorite part, I think, is Washington, D.C. because it's a great city. It was so exciting to be there, but I also like my host family and staying at my host family and to school because we do lots of cool things like visiting haunted houses or something like that. I guess I, I like everything, just the language, the way people are, how they treat others. I like it. And I like that America, in America it seems like nothing is impossible so you can do everything. Living with a host family is actually pretty cool because you get to see how families in another country are and that's kind of nice. And you also do like a lot with the family, so you get to know other people and that's cool. And I like the people there because they feel like they're a team and they're very proud of their school and being in the school. Next Tuesday is election day. Anyone 18 or older that is registered is encouraged to go out and vote. Paige Gerstner and Nikki Warner brings a story on the importance of voting. Election Day is a day legally established for the election of public officials. Midterms for seats in the U.S. Senate and House of Representatives will take place November 6th. Well, we should vote, number one, because you know we're Americans and we have that opportunity. Uh, but it's important so we have a voice in government. Um, in 2016, the biggest block of voters, if you count them, would be non-voters. So every year, every presidential year at least, we have like 60% of fewer people actually vote. So that's making 40% of people actually making decisions for us. Um, so it's important to have a voice in government. Everyone that registered received a card in the mail with a specific local location to go and vote. If your precinct is very busy, it could take a, a longer, but generally, my experience is it just takes a few minutes. Um, sometimes there's a little line you have to wait in, but not very often. Um, so if there's not a line, it takes very little time. 
And you can actually prepare yourself before. You can go to Ballotopedia and find what's on the ballot. So that really minimizes your time so you can be informed of what's on the ballot. Whether or not you're eligible to vote, you can get involved by researching the candidates and studying the issues. For ONW Now, this has been Paige Gerstner and Nikki Warner. Now back to the desk. Now I'll send it over to game day to get the latest on Raven Athletics. What's up, Ravens? I'm Haley McCormick alongside Ryan Andrew, and welcome to Game Day Northwest. A lot went down this past weekend, and we're here to give you updates on football, volleyball, cross country, and soccer. Our Ravens soccer team competed for the regional championship at Seaback on Thursday, October 25th, against Cheyenne Mission Northwest. The Ravens fell short, losing to the Cougars 4-0. Good season, boys. On Friday, October 26th, our Ravens football team played in the first round of playoffs against Shawnee Mission South at their home field. Although the Ravens battled hard with touchdowns from Connor Boyd, Cole Manning, and Andrew Dumas, it wasn't enough to conquer the Ra Raiders. The boys lost 40-21 to to end their season. Good luck next year, Ravens. The Lady Raven volleyball team competed for another state championship in Salina this past weekend. On Friday, the ladies gained the number one seed after beating Washburn Rural in Garden City and losing to Blue Valley North. On Saturday, the team played the Blue Valley Tigers and lost to them in three sets. The Ravens then beat Washington Rural again in two sets, winning the third place spot. Great job, ladies. Our cross country runners ran on unstay on Saturday, October 27th at Rim Rock in Lawrence. On the girls' side, Ashton Dane finished 36th and Lydia McLaughlin played 40, placed 43rd. The girls overall placed 9 out of 12 teams. On the boys' side, Brian Kitter represented well, finishing 49th. Way to run, Ravens. From volleyball to football to even bowling, athletes are at risk for a serious injury. We talked to a couple of Raven athletes who experienced some major injuries from playing the sport they love. Hurt, pain, injury. These are natural occurrences in sports, some being minor, some life-changing. Being injured not only changes the player, but the team as a whole. Coaches and teammates are affected by an injury. So this year, I landed on the court, hyperextended my elbow, and ended up tearing a ligament. There's definitely, like, there's still days I have to take practices off where I don't hit because it hurts. And so sometimes that brings the team down. An injury changes how the player continues to play, making it more difficult to carry out regular tasks in sports and life in general. I couldn't really, like, use my shoulder for anything so when people would come up on my left shoulder I kind of just had to turn my back or spin off of them or something. However, being injured doesn't mentally change how the injured player views the sport. Well, it definitely showed me there's definitely a lot of ups and downs to playing a sport, but I still love it, I still play it, and honestly, I still have fun, so. I was limited to no contact during practice the whole week, and I went to Hawkins twice a day during the school day to use the game ready to ice it. It's just kind of just part of the sport. For ONW Now, this has been D. Gorey and Ryan Andrew. That's it for Game Day Northwest today. <laughs> Great season to all of our fall sports, and we wish you the best of luck next year. For Landon Daniel and Ryan Andrew, this has been Haley McCormick. Have a great day, Ravens, and now back to the desk. In honor of everyone's favorite spooky holiday, let's take it to Ainsley and Leo for Word from the Halls Halloween edition. Hey Ravens, welcome to Word from the Halls. I'm Ainsley Heisey, and behind the camera you can't see her, but it's Lena Saturn. We're going to get some spooky answers out of the kids, so stay tuned. What is the most hated Halloween candy? Swedish fish. Candy corn. A black licorice. Toothbrush. Candy corn. Uh, I'll enjoy. Tootsie rolls. What is the correct term for the fear of Halloween? Oh no. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> Halloweenophobia. Halloweenophobia. Spooky? Spookophobia. Samhanophobia. What day is National Candy Corn Day? Never. Halloween. October 14th. Is it candy corn day? October 30th. Okay, what was last year's most popular candy? Twix? Pixie sticks. Twix. Milky Way. Gehersties. Some Swedish fish for sure. Reese's? What do they celebrate on Dia de los Muertos? Um, the Day of the Dead. Dabbing on the dead. They're celebrating their dead friends. Dead people and that they're passing on. The people, the family members who passed away. The passing of their loved ones. 
That's all for us this week, Ravens. For more ONW news, be sure to subscribe to our ONW Raven Daily YouTube channel. For Landon Daniel and Brian Gonzaga, this has been Nina Rice. We'll see you next week, Ravens.